I'm ready. I'm gonna come. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. We have another sponsored video for you by Lelo. Lelo. Favorite sex toy brand. Yeah, thanks guys. And we are here to talk about how to make your man better in bed. Oh, who doesn't want that? I mean, that is very true. Like we all want our partners to be better in bed, but this is specifically for men with a penis. And we're also going to be talking about Lalo's male sex toy called the F1 with their developer's kit red. Oh my God. Yeah. This toy looks like the ultimate male sex toy. It's insane. I mean, even the trailer looks like a, we watched like an action thriller, exciting like breakdowns of this toy. Yeah. Oh my I, God. It was the most techie. Yeah. like action packs. <laughs> if I was a guy, I would actually be like, oh my god, cool! <laughs> This is something that not just us, but everyone mm -hmm. struggles with. And yes, we understand some women can be bad in bed too, but this is not the video for them. For this is about penises and making them better. Yeah, better, faster, <laughs> longer, stronger. Firstly, I think that to get better in bed, as a couple, it's always about both of you and it's about communication. Mm -hmm. That is the most important thing when it comes to improving your sex life. Absolutely, not even just in a relationship. This could be even like a one night stand just a quick like date this could be a shag buddy that you haven't seen in ages if you want to have good and long and pleasurable sex or just play in general you have to communicate and you have to talk to each other and not make it awkward because obviously ejaculation can happen prematurely that happens no matter how good you are in bed and so you can bring it up in conversation and be like whoa you know I came pretty quickly then like wow that's cool and you yeah. can make it into a funny thing it's different for different people not all men mm -hmm. prematurely ejaculate of course some men can actually take too long True. but we are here to help you get your partner better in bed mm. yeah i actually have a tip if you find it really hard to communicate with your partner mm -hmm. sexting oh sexting is yeah such a good way to talk to your partner about things that you're kind of into and self pleasure can make you better in bed who would have thought well, if you solve pleasure, one, it means that you are interested in discovering more about your body and you get to learn what you really like about yourself and how you please yourself. Two, I think it makes your sex drive heightened. Mm. The more you're masturbating, obviously your libido is higher. So that can mean that you will then want to be having sex. Because obviously, you know, F1, you're wanking at the speed of light of a, of a race of a car. Race car. Race car. You need to protect yourself with some of these. How do you put on gloves? I don't even know. They give you these because if you're buying the F1, <laughs> you're probably a Formula One fan and you might want some riding gloves. It's got like, this really soft pad. Who knows? You might even want to like wear it at the same time. Enjoy yourself with these. So now let's let's bring out the device. Dun dun dun. Oh. So this is it. Hey, it's quite like solid, it's isn't it? Glory. It is so nice looking. Mm. And it even has a window so you can see the tech working whilst you're wanking. Oh my god, stop! Like, oh my god, I love tech! Oh. I love it! Yeah, what if you're wanking over the tech? <laughs> it's like, mm, this is so well programmed. Oh, the coding! So this thing is crazy. You can sync this up to an app. <laughs> It does sound like a car. What's it feel like? It's got like, sort of like a vibrating, pulsing feeling. It actually sounds like a car, like you're like a rev. Like a it comes with an app. You can control yeah. things through the app, like the speed, the temperature. Link it up to uh, some salsa videos. Could you even handle? It's actually a car noise. Maybe that's why they called it the F1. <laughs> Sounds like you're on a racing track. Edging. Oh dun, my goodness. Dun, dun. I'm sure you've heard the word edging before, but if you haven't, edging is the act of bringing yourself up into climax, ready for an orgasm, but just stopping before you orgasm. Mm -hmm. And what this does is it actually builds your muscle up because we've all got muscles down there. This is goes for women and men too, but builds up the men's muscles, obviously like going to the gym enough, so it's easier for you to hold your orgasm back. And last. Longer. Last longer, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't want to last longer in bed?
bed so that they can please their partner for oh longer. My, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I just wanted to add as well is that you'd completely like squirt this up with lube so it's like mm -hmm. nice and wet and slippy and like. It actually comes with loads of lube and comes with even like a little cleaning fluid. Little cleaner. Especially because that's probably going to get all up with juices. I mean, oh, we both have cleaning fluids for our sex toys. It's just stick of it and you have to do that. Yeah, you have to clean it after you wank. Yes. Uh, uh, I'm ready. I'm gonna come in about 15 minutes, baby. I mean, you would need to put your penis in there, that's for sure. And if you've never tried toys before, uh, again, for this goes for any gender, they can be quite intense the first time you use them. So you really have to get used to knowing your body and playing around with the settings. I would always recommend on the lowest setting first and build up because again, everyone's sensitivities are different. And how do I stop when I think I'm gonna come? Cause that feels too good. I know. Yeah. Well, sometimes you can put a toy in or on and then just be like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna come straight away. Yeah. So you have to read your body and feel if you are going to hit that climax and either slow down the sensations or the pleasure or stop completely. Basically, you kind of have to figure it out yourself, like judge it, learn your body. And I mean, you kind of can feel it anyway when you start to feel really close. Yeah. But the thing is, edging is very much a practice form. So the more you do it, the better you're going to be at predicting when you're going to orgasm and True. when you're going to be able to remove the toy or stop playing with that area. Yeah. And you can edge with your partner as well. Oh, it's that's a really fun thing to do together. Really fun, but that's even harder to do. That takes like a lot of communication, practice and skill when you can do it right. I was literally edging with my partner. So he wasn't using the toy. I was using the toy on myself and he was saying, oh, let me know when you're going to come. And Ooh. I said, oh, can I come? And he said, no, he said no, uh, quite a few times. And that's edging because I'm in control and oh man, it was, it was so that good, sounds. it was so hard. And you can do exactly the same with this toy. So say if either you're using it on your partner or your partner's using it, you know, you could be playing with their body, licking their nipples, sucking on their neck and asking them, saying to them, when are you gonna come? And he can let you know. And you can say, no, you're not allowed to come yet. And he has to hold it and stop. Ooh. How long do you have to wait in between before you start up again? Like oh, again, that's so hard to answer because everybody's so different. Yeah. For me personally, it can be pretty instant because once you've got to that point and you've stopped, you're yeah. already coming down from that climax quite quickly. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for me, it's a couple of seconds. I think it's different for men and women as well. That's very true. When we lose our orgasm, it's quite a quick thing and we do really have to build it up from the very mm -hmm. bottom again. I'm not sure if it's the same for guys. I think that mm -hmm. you might need like a few more seconds waiting in between. Yeah, I mean, the only person is gonna know is you. You're gonna know what your penis feels like and what your yeah. body is feeling like. And there's nothing wrong with uh, practicing and making mistakes and also giving yourself an orgasm accidentally. It's again, it's just learning curves for knowing what your limits are and how to read your body. So this is the perfect thing for learning how to edge with yourself then. Yes, exactly. You'll be on your phone at the same time like, oh, <laughs> yeah, sync touch the app. Like, oh no, I don't want to stop. It's like, if you're sitting at home- stop Because it's gonna make me better in bed. Yeah. If you're sitting at home thinking like, mm, yeah, I edge myself like all day, every day anyway, I'm a pro. Yeah. This is like the next level, the next yeah. step. Another reason that masturbation and self-pleasure can be good for your bedroom antics, make you better in bed, is that masturbation is a really good stress reliever. I think it's really important to masturbate not just for necessarily like orgasm and self-pleasure. I often use masturbation as a stress mm -hmm. relief. And I think it's really beneficial. As you said, it makes your sex with your partner way more special. Remember guys, I know we can't stress this enough, but sex isn't everything. Mutual masturbation, or even if nothing's happening to you, but you're just watching your partner pleasure yeah. themselves. That could be such a hot sex oh session. Oh my God, imagine if the person with the penis has this and you've got like a dildo. Yeah, and you're using it at the same time. Just staring at each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's like super intense. It's almost more intimate than having sex anyway. So on closer inspection, you can see that there is a vibrator just at the tip there. I mean, we've got this kind of like vortexy, crazy pattern in silicon down there. And there's also right in there a little vibrator that's like right on the tip of the penis. So which is the most sensitive area. <laughs> 
So you don't even necessarily have to, you know, pull it in and out like you're masturbating. This could, you could probably just go hands free, like stick it on, then be done. Be like, yeah. And then be controlling the settings via your app, which is pretty cool actually, that you could just change what the toy's doing on your app. It feels crazy in there, man. I really want a penis to try There's it. loads of tech in there as well. Like the app has so much on it, like mm. so much control. You control the speed, you can control the temperature. Temperature? Yeah. No way. It's kind of a shame because us females get a lot of choice with our sex toys, but men, again, because of this whole weird stigma, men don't get the choice. So we're just like really happy we're seeing more male yeah. toys on the menu. <laughs> Let's end this stigma, guys, because mm -hmm. it's not fair. It's not fair. As women in relationships or as other men in relationships with male partners, buy each other male sex toys. Exactly. Bring home and be like, oh, today I got one of these. Exactly. Like, male, male pleasure is like massively underrated. And or I think if your partner accepts it and like gives it to you, it kind of makes it feel more okay. Yeah. So ladies or gentlemen, buy your man one of these sex toys and be like, yeah, this is going to be cool. Let's try yeah. it out together. I think that's the best thing about sex toys is that you can always try them together. And yeah. And use them together. And for those of you who think sex toys replace your partner, they do not. No, oh. it's an enhancement of pleasure. And why wouldn't you want to enhance your pleasure in the bedroom? Yeah, it's supposed to compliment your partner, never take over. Yeah. This video is all about making your partner better in bed. Mm -hmm. And get experimental in bed. So yeah, guys, edging with toys is the ultimate way to stay harder, longer, faster, better in bed. But of course, if there are longer conditions, there is no, nothing wrong with going to a doctor and speaking to them about it. Because mm -hmm. erectile dysfunction is quite, it was a very, very common issue that men all yes. over deal with. Even if they haven't, you know, even if it's not a prolonged problem, someone will have experienced it at one point in their life. And it's a very normal thing. And it's something that people can conquer. So yeah, never be afraid to talk to your doctor. So, pleasure seekers, if you are doing the best effort to make your man better in bed, then why not get him a male masturbating sex toy and both play with it? Definitely. And in our experience, guys that masturbate with sex toys are actually better at communicating what they like in the bedroom. Which is crazy, so, but it makes so much sense. So much sense. So if you guys have any tips on how to make your boyfriend better in the bedroom, please comment them down down below and if this video was useful give it a huge thumbs up mm, thumbs up in these gloves guys yeah because we're filming um, a run races <laughs> and if you want to learn anything about these products please visit the link in the description down below yeah baby happy christmas i was gonna say coming but whatever <laughs> Merry Christmas. I guess we'll do that Merry one. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and we'll see you next week, guys. Bye. Mwah.